Tay Tay don't want to play play. What's going on with Taylor Swift? Well, Taylor Swift doesn't like product diversion either. She much less likes it when somebody else uses her name to sell products under her name and she doesn't make any money off of it and she did not approve those products. Piracy is a challenge. And Taylor Swift, she's a megastar in America. She's also doing pretty well across the rest of the globe. So you take a look at what's going on with Taylor Swift and piracy in China. Well, she's working with JD Com and Alibaba Tamal to distribute, you know, her t-shirts, her designer t-shirts, $60 t-shirts. I immediately think, wow, what a great margin. I mean, that was a $2, maybe $10 that there's a lot of hand work items in there, and she's getting $60 for it. That is a huge value chain, value markup. In any case, her brand, she touched it, she blessed it, it's worth more than a $2 t-shirt. In any case, she looks at this, and Alibaba's been having some challenges in the area of piracy. They're in the news quite a bit about people selling fake goods on their website. So what's she doing? She's thinking about her more exclusive, better products, her $100 clothing, now we're talking dress shirts, whatever, and $120, $120 clothing, she's saying, I'm going to just go with JD.com. I'm going to put any piracy hanging tags. Authenticity is everything. And I'll use JD.com, says Taylor Swift, because they have the anti-piracy campaign. Now, this is important for her because, you know, she makes her money off of her name and her fame. And this is her route to market since nobody buys music anymore. Maybe you do. So we're looking at this, and what's going on in China? First of all, there's nine trademarks already registered in China underneath the name of Taylor Swift. Only six are owned by Miss Swift and her businesses. Three are not owned by Miss Swift, and they're selling onesies, purses, shoes, hats, bathing suits. That's a problem. Can Taylor Swift buy them back? Can she make them stop? She can't make them stop. She may be able to buy them back. You see, in China, law is based on who files first, and someone else files first to make these items underneath the name of Taylor Swift. So they have the right to. Here's the problem. And you look at fake items. Well, fake T-Swift shoes go for $11 on Tabo, and she's looking at, you know, $120. So we have some problems for Taylor Swift. And what is she doing? Similar to the prior story. She is defending her segmentation hedges. She is defending her value proposition and saying, this is mine. You don't need to use my brand without paying me, without my permission. She's defending her position. This is what your business has to do sometimes, too. Defend yourself. On guard, says Toltec Mesoamerican Wiglaf. Dude.